subscribe to Sport and Icons to stay in touch with all the top news. God bless you all. This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Right, so I watched a live press conference over there in Boston, United States of America for Billy Joe Saunders versus Demetrius Andrade for Billy Joe Saunders WBO World Middleweight title. And it was a interesting press conference. Um, it was one of the most eventful ones that, uh, that um, seemed to happen there over in America. Actually, while I'm on the subject, America, why is it that it's kind of like um, compulsory? And I've noticed it with quite a few few of your press conferences and I'm hoping it wasn't going to happen on the matchroom one but it tends to happen here as well and I noticed it yesterday with HBO and plenty of other ones in the past you guys bring too many people on the stage onto a very small stage so people are having to squeeze past each other and also we don't know who these people are you don't know who these people are people don't want to know who these people are because they're the second cousin of one of the fighters we don't care and we don't need to hear them talk okay for me all I want is the fighters and the promoters and somebody who's damn well important okay that's pretty much what i'm interested in there's no need to be dragging on a press conference for people who look like they should be in comic book stores rather than on a fight stage but anyway all that aside it was a very interesting press conference demetrius andrade what are you wearing man what are you wearing you look like the arch nemesis for peter pan captain hook wearing that kind of clothes and now i know fighters do this kind of thing to get people talking about them you know it's a bit of promotion and you know what well done good job but damn boy anyway billy joe demetrius andrade these guys were you know they had a bit of good banter you know they're over Know, talking over each other having having some good fun with it and the crowd loved it i enjoyed it and the whole thing was pretty good as in when they started talking from the fighters I, and, I, and i don't like people going on the stage who nobody knows who the hell they are but the fighters um obviously katie taylor and um cindy serrano of course you guys have seen the video yesterday where i broke down the entire card so if you haven't watched that yet go watch it rather than me go through it all again but kid galahad he was there as well and he was serious he was in fighting mode already you know october 20th is quite a while away but you know what he made it a bit more interesting and i'm pretty sure those over in america especially if, if you plan on going to the event in boston you're going to be getting your money's worth because kid galahad is fantastic katie taylor is fantastic billy joe saunders is fantastic and of course i want all these guys to win including tennyson of course he's going up against tevin farmer yes i'm going against matchroom fighters here okay i want billy joe saunders to defeat Demetrius Andrade, a Frank Warren fighter. I want um, you know Tennyson to beat Tevin Farmer. He's an Irish lad. So, you know, I know Eddie Hearn probably wouldn't be too happy with me saying all this, but I'm sure he understands, you know, British patriotism and all that. Yes, I know Ireland is separate. But anyway, so Katie Taylor was on there, Cindy Serrano, and the whole bunch of other people. So excellent stuff. It looks very, very good. Um, I enjoyed the press conference. I thought it was entertaining um, once it got going, of course. And I don't know why, but I kind of liked the look of Eddie Hearn when you had Dimitris Andrade and Billy Joe Saunders after they had like their chat, they had the face to face, head to head. These guys were going at it for a little while. Oh, and the uh, kid Galahad, he uh, decided to push his opponent for whatever reason or got a little bit verbal with him but regardless um eddie hearn he put his hand on the shoulder of billy joe saunders as in put him around billy joe saunders to put his hand on the shoulder that is a picture of a thousand words but and eddie hearn must have loved that moment to be promoting a show with billy joe saunders on it firstly and secondly that rubs a little bit of salt in the wound of frank warren it must have done if you're frank warren you know you're looking at that picture thinking you son of a i mean that would really get up his goat but anyway i mean bjr saunders was very you know it's it's listen it's a matchroom show it's a disown and uh, you know there he is thank you eddie hearn matchroom boxing and disown and you know because these guys are giving him some mammoth money by all accounts apparently it's one of his highest paydays ever if not the highest payday so of course he's all in for it um I don't know why, but there was part of me expecting Billy Joe Saunders to go, big up Frank Warren, screwed his own, or something like that. That was kind of what I was expecting Billy Joe to do. That's his kind of character at times, but he didn't at all. But very, very good press conference. I know if you're over in Boston, you've got to be looking out thinking, yeah, I definitely want to go. And if you're a, in America and you've got the opportunity for um, only $10 to watch this entire event, plus all the other ones, 
I'm pretty sure you're going to take it, right? Well, I would. So anyway, you drop your thoughts below about the entire card, the press conference, all that kind of good stuff. Click that thumbs up and subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.